Okay folks, this is Nancy Wyatt and I'm going to attempt to give you guys a tutorial on Rana Design's new app. So wish me luck. I have the fanciest of setups. I wish you could see it. I will have to Instagram a photo actually. Okay, let's get started. So we're going to choose Rana's app. Okay, and as you can see, It'll give you the option to pull from your photo album by clicking on this little camera roll, taking a photo, and the heart is to submit a review to the iTunes store or to send an email with your request for changes within the app or suggestions. So that is really the best way to get a hold of them. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to choose a background that was included within the app from Rana for the purpose of this tutorial. The background is in, I'm going to crop it and now I'm going to um, add a frame I think. So here are the frames, the mask, filters, and if I want to recrop it. This is where you can change the background color if you add a filter to it. There are your choices. I could change the color if I wanted. We're going to go back to just a regular color. Apply. I'm going to go a little bit quick. So uh, you can always ask questions and I'll touch back on those. I'm going to choose a frame. All the frames come at the bottom as you can see here. Okay. And I like this frame, but I think that I want the flowers to be on top. So I'm going to use the rotate. That's the top left button. There we go. So, and I think that I would like this frame to be smaller. So that there's more white space left in the map area because I want to be able to, sh to add some designs to that so I want you to be able to see what I'm going to do. So as you can see I can move it around because the background filled the entire area of my mat I can pretty much move it around everywhere. Okay so we're going to leave it there. Also there's a button right here with the four arrows that is to change the size of the photo within your frame. As you can see now the pattern is smaller and I like it that way so we're gonna leave it that way and now we're done so we're gonna hit the cross the X all right so now let's add a quote to it we're gonna use the little starburst icon and let's find a quote from the be strong design pack Let's do create a dream. It always comes up in white. And as you can see, there's a little line around the design with a little circle. If you drag on that circle, that design is going to be enlarged in size. Or if you go in, it's going to reduce the size. Okay, so there we go. And we can change the color. But I'm going to go with gray. And don't forget, you can click the More button and customize the color as you wish. Alright, so now let's add another design. Notice I hit the plus sign. It's critical that you hit the plus sign so that it allows you to add another layer to this. I think some people are having problems where the design that they just added is replaced by something else. That's because somebody, you know, you forgot to add the plus sign. For example, there is the design. I wanted to add a second layer. Sorry, I'm doing it correctly, but I wanted to do it the wrong way. So let's say that I wanted to add this to it too. The I can create the dream up here, for example. So I thought, okay, I'm done with the create the dream. Now I'm going to add the I can ribbon. Oh my gosh, it changed. Well, it's because I still had it highlighted. So back again to the design I wanted. 
Now I'm going to add, click the plus sign. Now I'm going to click the I can again, twice really. And now I can change and add this piece to it. Okay, not sure about that color. Definitely don't like that color. So we're going to go into the more and we'll just change it up a little bit. Now it kind of ties into these little flowers over here, don't you think? All right. So now I'm going to hit the plus sign because I want to add yet another layer to this piece. This time, I think I will add some little arrows that I want. Here they are. There we go. So that's another layer. So this, so we've got layer one. After we framed it, I'm counting create the dream as layer one. I can as layer two. These arrows is layer three. Now let's say that I wanted these layer these arrows to be a little bit more transparent. I'm going to come up here to these lines. I'm going to choose transparency and I'm going to use my slider bar to tone that to turn that down. As you can see. And I'm good with that. I'm going to hit done. I like to add my name before I add it on Instagram, so I'm going to add a text. It comes up in the middle. I'll turn it red just so you can see it. And double tap it as it says. All right, so now I want to show you how if I wanted that below these arrows, then I would click on the arrows and it should send it to the back. Of course, because I'm doing a tutorial, it's not going to. Let's add something else. Let's add, and let's add some more of these arrows. You gotta click it twice. You hit the plus, and then you click the design or a new design pack that showed up over here. Gonna go with the gray. I'm gonna change the transparency. If I click on this, these arrows, I could actually look at the transparency level at the numbers if I wanted to make it match, but I'm not too concerned with that right now. But I know that I want these arrows below this last design here, so. I'm going to click on that blue design and now it sends it to the back. Now I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, I want these arrows to go over to the right a little bit. Well, I've got to click on those again, then click on my design and now my design will be on top. Still don't like it because I don't like the way those lines look below the letters. That's a little bit better. For the example, it's good enough, right? Okay, so now we have layer, after putting our frame together, we've got layer one, two, three, four, and we've got text even. Click on the text if I want to move it. You know, I'm not sure about the placement of my frame. I'm going to hit done. I'm going to go back to this green menu. I call it a green menu, which is the canvas options. And going to hit the frame and I'm just going to move my frame over. Okay, and then I'm going to click this little the little four arrows. Cuz I've got to move that piece over. And then I'm done. I'm going to move my little design here. Center it a little bit better. 
and I think that's about it. So I'm going to hit done. Now, right now, they're having issues with the iPad automatically uploading to Instagram, but I promise that Devin is working on that. So for now, I'm on my iPad, so I'm going to save it to my camera roll. And now I can go right to Instagram and upload it. Hopefully this layering video has helped. My next video will be for masking. Thanks for stopping in.